Hey everybody, welcome to another O-Step Analysis. Today we have a match from the 2014 Nogi Worlds. On top we have João Pedro Rodriguez passing the X-Guard of Thomas Lisboa. This is the semifinals. So we're going to see he's going to circle forward and back steps. And here he's on a barren bowl of back finish. And he almost gets it, but Lisboa is able to recover his position. It was a really nice scramble. Let's take a look at it and break it down. So we're starting off here in kind of a modified X guard, one legged X position. He's got the footlock grip here. He has this shin on the inside. Now he can't have his left foot on the uh, hip here. We see how close Joao Pedro's shoulder is to his knee. So this whole area is closed off. And the left hook is actually underneath the femur right there. Okay. As we go forward, the first thing that Joao Pedro is going to do is he's going to push this knee and act as if he's trying to pass to the front side. So, there he goes. So he's going to take one small step, then he's going to hop forward here. And now he's going to start going the opposite way, backstepping hard with his left leg. Now, as he's doing this, Lisboa is going to try to catch this leg right behind the knee with his hook here. If he's able to catch it, he could hold on to his X guard. But we see as the back step happens, Joao Pedro does a really nice job of curling his heel to his butt and avoiding this leg. And he kind of just narrowly avoids it right there. So you see that hook wasn't able to get it. And there goes the back step. Now, oftentimes when you see back steps from X guard, the foot lands somewhere around here and you try to finish on the side of the opponent's body. But here it's going to play out a little bit differently. We see as he falls, his body actually falls on the other side of Thomas Lisboa's body. And I think part of the reason is that Lisboa is reacting as well. So if we pay attention to Lisboa on bottom here in this transition, when the back step happens, you see his head kind of spins from here to here, and then he starts to back roll into Joao Pedro. Now it's hard to say what he's trying to do. He could just be trying to roll into him, knock him off balance to uh, help prevent the pass. He could be trying to attack this leg right here, but the position of their bodies, how it ends up here, and the fact that he rocks up into him is going to allow Joao Pedro to try to take the back. So we see as they land here, Lisboa rocks up, and then all this space here is created. And throughout this whole transition, Joao Pedro's arm kind of ends up behind the legs already. So all he's going to do is he's going to grab the hip here with his left arm. His other hand is posting. He's going to hop his hips around and try to clear around this knee of Lisboa right there. So as he hops around, you see his right arm reaches deep for the grip. And now he's in a really nice position. He'll probably, probably be trying to look for the uh, hook with his right leg here. But as we see, Lisboa does a very nice job of defending. He's going to get his upper body up off the mat. So here he gets to his hands, and then he's going to try to withdraw this knee right here. So he pulls it back, kind of like a technical stand-up motion, and then he clears the position. So let's rewind, take a look at everything in slow motion. He's going to push the knee, hop forward. Lisboa's going to try to catch his leg, but he can't. His head spins under. Again, the arm's already behind the legs. Hops with his hip. Tries to finish up on the back. Bozo is able to get to his hands, move his hips away, and withdraw that knee. If you guys want to see another really nice uh, analysis of a one-legged X-pass, and it includes a back step, and the opponent actually also rolls into him, check out Cobrinha against Marcio Andre. I have an analysis video on it from ADCC. So we're going to take a look at this one last time, full speed. What a great transition. So I hope you guys like this analysis. For more, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. If you guys didn't get a chance to, check out uh, my previous episode with a really nice leg lock battle from Vitor Oliveira and Enrico Coco.